Good evening and welcome to our night prayers for Saturday evening. Well, this is our last evening together in the vineyard. The hard work has all been done. The young vine has been grafted into the rootstock, which means it's protected against the phylloxera aphid. It's been planted in the vineyard. It's begun to put its roots deep down into the soil to find the moisture and the nutrients that it needs. It started to grow and as it has done so, the grower has trained the vine along the wires so that it can catch the sun. And the vine has spent a hundred days hopefully basking and absorbing the warm sunshine. And now the grower is walking up and down the vineyard, checking the grapes, seeing if they are ready for harvest. And to do that, he uses a little contraption called a refractometer, which gives him precise readings of the sugar levels of the grapes, so he can pick the grapes at just the right time. For quality grapes, the grapes are going to be picked by hand, carefully placed into a basket and taken into the vineyard, into the winery, to be made into wine. And so how about us? Well, we too have been grafted into the rootstock, into Jesus, into his death, his resurrection and his ascension. We are completely protected from the powers of sin and death. We have been planted out in the vineyard, which is our lives, actually. We have begun putting our roots down into the soil of God's love, his truth, his nature, into who he is. We have been basking, hopefully, in the sunshine of his love and his presence. And hopefully we too have been cooperating with the Holy Spirit as the Father shapes and moulds us and prunes us so that we can bear more fruit. So what does fruit look like in our lives? Well, Paul writes in his letter to the Christians in Turkey, his letter to the Galatians, about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And he writes this, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. There is no law against these things. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Let us not become conceited or provoke one another or be jealous of one another. Paul is talking about a real change in our lives and this is the fruit that can develop in us. To bear fruit for the kingdom actually is to grow characteristics of Jesus. But this is not about trying harder. It's not about trying to be more holy by our own effort. This is the natural outcome of a life lived like the vine. The vine doesn't produce grapes by trying really hard. The vine produces grapes by simply being a vine in the hands of an expert vine grower. God is the grower, we are the vines. If we allow him to shape us and tend us, we will not only thrive, 
but amazingly and wonderfully, characteristics of Jesus will develop in us. And now we have our song, 10,000 Reasons. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing. King of life, in the name of the Christ of love, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the triune of my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. I am placing my soul and my body under thy guarding this night, O Christ. May thy cross this night 
be shielding me. I am placing my soul and my body under thy guarding this night, O Christ. May thy cross this night be shielding me. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Redeem me, O Lord, the God of truth. The God of life with guarding hold you. The loving Christ with guarding fold you. The Holy Spirit guarding mould you. Each night of life to aid enfold you. Each day and night of life uphold you. May, may God shield me, may God, God fill me, may God, God keep me, may God watch me, may God bring me this night to the nearness of his love. The peace of the Father of joy, the peace of the Christ of hope, the peace of the Spirit of grace. The peace, the peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and, and of, of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. And we wish you a peaceful evening and a good night's sleep.